is good YouTube's your boy Ferg Fletch back here again as promised with another car review today's car review I will be reviewing um a boy Alex he's in, um he's part of the car club that I'm a part of um he has a newer year WRX I'm not sure what year but we're gonna get into that shortly um just getting off the highway we're meeting up and then I'm just gonna take it from there man I mean when they get better and better at this car review thing man just need more contestants but yeah <laughs> Guys, my name is Alex. This is my 2021 WRX. Uh, a lot of people like to know it is a base trim. Um, we got a couple of bolt-ons to it. We got Cobb uh, big ass cold, cold air intake. Um, let's see, ETS Extreme Cat and J. Uh, I'm sorry, ETS Extreme Cat back exhaust, ETS uh, Cat and J pipe, Grim Speed Boost Controller, and Turbo Windlet. I feel like I'm missing something else performance wise, but I think that's it. It is tuned uh, by Mike Atkins out in Florida, making 302 wheel, 353 wheel torque, so she moves. Damn, three. So I've never been inside of one of these. It was a um, like a 2014 WRX, maybe. That is one of my favorite generations. Like, honestly, like all right, all right guys, let's go. We're pulling off. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't stall. Right. I didn't stall. So there you go. <laughs> If we do make way to the highway and if it's clear enough, I would say do a second gear 40 roll. Second gear? Second gear at 40, bro, and just full throttle, dude. It's it goes. Yeah, that's that's like my money right there. Dude, it, it sounds nice though. Is it like does it get crazy loud in here or no? Like the drone? Uh yeah, she at like if you're kinda of holding steady around like three ish. Yeah, it, it, it'll drone a little bit, but I guess I just got used to it. I've been running the stage two for like just about a year now, and I've had no issues with it. She's pretty mint. I like the growl on it. Yeah. And so what is it, an equal length or? Yeah, so equal? these come factory with equal length headers um, because uh, I guess like those are healthier for twin scroll turbos. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of people when they have these cars like with the FA20 yeah. and they switch over to the unequal, they're literally just killing the car. So this is an FA20 motor? Yeah, FA20 uh, direct injection. So that's a two liter? Yeah, two liter, yep. Versus the EJ25 EJ, Yep. The only EJ, I'm not on close, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, I just got out of my car. <laughs> hey, I, I just got out of my car. It's, it's a habit. You saw I went around the other speed bump. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, he's definitely feeling used to his car. There we go. Come on. There we go. Hold it with two hands. <laughs> yo, nah, that's that you got a 
a blowout valve on this, or that's just the bypass valve. Yep. Wow. Yeah, Grim Speed bypass valve and uh, Grim Speed uh, turbo inlet. I put those on together, yeah. and dude, that flutter. This is fun already. Like, well, dude, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? <laughs> You think it's stiff? I think if you, it, if you feel my clutch pedal, you'll see why I say that. Really? Yeah, I, I always like, thought mine was like loose or some shit. No, this is stiff. Mine's is like butter, like, like perfect for a beginner to learn. But like anytime I drive another car and then yeah. get back into mine, it's like my clutch pedal is just like non existent. Yo, that flutter sounds so <laughs> Here, hold on. Keep it steady. And drop it a second. Fucking, if you can't rip it. my expectations yeah. and then i look at the torque i'm like 353 i was like there's That's no cool. way i was like there's no way nah, like, <laughs> it also puts you in the seat like all oh, grip like, yeah it does so like the south. damn <laughs> I, I, I can see myself on the so how much how much do these cars go for? so this was jesus christ dog um, so I got this for just about 30. 30k? Yeah, 30k, brand new, base trim. Um, That's not bad, yeah. I got it used, so. Yeah. That's actually good. not bad, right? And, um, so like if I wanted a limited WRX, it would have been like 35. And then if I wanted to go up to the STI, I would have started at like 36. Like my boy Q, he's got a limited STI, 21. And uh, that shit was like 42, 45 grand. That's a good question. I would just go this way, fuck it. Ripski.
it's such a fun daily, dude. That's like that's what I love most about it. As soon as I uh, once I can't wait, I gotta put on my winter we uh, winter tires, yeah. and then when we get snow, dude, me and my brother gotta go get sturdy in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I definitely gotta come. I wanna, I wanna get that on TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be lit. Get that on TikTok or something. <laughs> uh, this thing's so good. Thank you, man. I got some plans for it too. I want to do uh, front mount intercooler, yeah. headers, bigger turbo, injectors. Yeah, top mount. Yeah. yeah, that's the only thing. Like, once I get rid of the top mount, the post school kind of loses functionality, but I don't even care about it. Would you ever change the carbon fiber or something? I would, but it's also, like, very common now. Like, so, I don't know. I probably, excuse me, I probably will. The front, I've seen a front mount in a cooler on one of these. STI. Yeah. I used to work with them at Liberty Con. Yeah. It looks good. It, it, it does, man. It really looks good. Yeah. But he still had his factory. I could just do a, you know, like a upgraded top mount. Yeah. You know, it'll definitely save me a lot of money. And for the PowerPoint that I'm going to try to, like, I want to get to, I don't necessarily need a front mount. But from, like, research that I've done, having a front mount is just healthier anyways because yeah. it's going to pull in the cooler air. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna spend the money and just get a front mount instead. But I'm not, I'm not doing any more power until my cosmetics are like just about done. All you need to do is the coilovers. Yeah, yeah but and then wheels. it's the left. I want to do coils, wheels, front lid, rear diffuser, side skirts, headlights, tail lights, fog lights. Um, the whole, the whole shebang. And then the biggest of them all is gonna be my wrap. How much does yours make? sounds really good like i heard you pulling in i was like i was like first of all i didn't even remember your, your car sounding like that <laughs> i don't remember that at all and it's not like like i literally just saw you like a month and a half ago at birdhouse i think so out of all the cars i've driven i drove a 37 a 37 swapped to like this yesterday though but i think that makes like around 330 wheel Oof. so I, this this is up there with the fastest cars I've ever driven. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. And my my eighth gen was fast. So this between this, my boy's G thirty seven on nitrous. Nitrous? Yeah, and then that TL type S I drove yesterday. Damn. So I'm gonna ask him to get his car in the chair too, cause I didn't even really I didn't get on it or anything. I was just driving after doing alignment and oh, I'm just shit. like I can feel the torque just pulling off at a stoplight, like. Oh my god. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have to review that. Yeah. Damn, that was fun. Yeah, you had fun? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I can't wait to see this on the channel, though. I'm about to edit that. I'm about to edit it when I go home. That. I hear the phone. That was, that was fun. That was oh, fun. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back inside of my slow car. Oh, that Q50. Oh, that's a Q. That's a 3 0 turbo, too. That's, that sounds nice. ER30. But sorry, got off track. Um, yo, that that was probably the best car review I've ever done. Ever. I mean, I've only done two, but damn, that was that was some fun, guys. That was really fun. I enjoyed it. Like my overall, like for me, for my first time driving a Subaru. Like my overall impression on it is like. I'll go to a super dealership and drive up the lot with one of those right now. Like that's how that's how nice it was driving it. He's only making he's only making three something. He's making more torque than horsepower. He's making 355 torque, but that's like Bro, I drive a 1.5 turbo man. Like come on. <laughs> so bye. Stop man. Just comment like and subscribe, man.
stay tuned for the next one, man. Let me know if you guys want me to review some more cars, man. Drop down in the comments what car I should do next. Hit me up if you want to be featured next. And, man, we're going to do, man. We out of here. Peace.